Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwart and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the pleasure of meeting with Dave Curlin. Welcome, Dave. Thank you, Gerhard. It's great to be back with you again. I heard you say once that uh, too many consultants are focusing on the noise on the sidelines and not on the game. Can you explain that? In the last year or two, so much attention is being focused on the top of the funnel and what's happening above the funnel. So lead gen, social selling, LinkedIn, lead nurturing, email marketing. And that's great. It's important. It gives salespeople a lot more opportunities to work on, but it's at the expense of not talking about and not reinforcing and not introducing the latest trends and the latest best practices at selling. Right now, there's a lot of work to be done helping salespeople get to that next level when it comes to consultative selling, when it comes to selling value, when it comes to following a milestone-centric process that's aligned with the buyer journey. You bring up some very interesting points because there are two ways to uh, slip on the banana peel. One is to have irrelevant conversations and uh, secondly, to have obsolete conversations. And I think the obsolete conversations happen still when people go back to um, you know, some of the stuff that we have learned in the 80s. The 80s was all about presentations. We didn't have this technology yet. And uh, the second decade of this century has been all about demos. And demos are great if you've got a qualified buyer that's got a, prob a business problem to solve and they're ready to spend money to solve it. But there's so many salespeople out there taking all these inbound leads and social selling leads and these connections and their whole sales process is, can I do a demo for you? And they don't understand why at the end of the demo, the prospects say, well, that's really cool. We'll get back to you if we want to do anything. And they're going like, how come I can't close them? How come they won't buy it? Why can't I get them to take action? It's pretty obvious to you and to me why nothing's happening. We, we don't know what their business problem is or even if they have a business problem. And a lot of the salespeople who are attuned to business problems just assume there's a business problem or they're trying to solve a business problem before anyone's told them there is a business right, problem. Right, right. And, in, and in not asking more about the right. business problem and the implications and the financial impact. You mentioned the word predictive and uh, my ears perked up because uh, I see a lot of analytics moving into the sales suite and a lot of companies talk about predictive analytics. Uh, what is your recommendation? If we open this can of worms, uh, <laughs> then to, to make the sales process and the forecast predictive, then we, we need the right milestones in the right sequence, in the right stages, and we have to prove it out so that if we reach this milestone, we know that there is a this percentage likelihood that this business is going to close within this many days. And a good sales process that's been properly customized and optimized with the right milestones in the right sequence will work that way. And if that's tied in directly to the pipeline, in the CRM system, uh, then the pipeline and the forecast will be spitting out that kind of accurate predictive information as well. well what you're saying is that you, you have to have a process and a methodology, which is different from a process. Exactly. And you need to have the, the numbers, consistent numbers, to look at in order to be, become predictive. Like right now, win rates are atrocious. Yeah. They're, they're dropping and right. sales cycles are taking longer and longer and longer. Right. That's not good news. Right. But you and I could both guarantee that where win rates are dropping and sales cycles are getting longer, we know they're doing the wrong things at the wrong time for the right. wrong reasons. Right. It, it's a sales process problem and it right. could be a methodology problem. Right. But yes, uh, the right process and getting the salespeople to follow that process and giving them a methodology that allows them to leverage that process okay. changes everything. So we've got a lot of people out there who are presenters. There's a lot of people out there who are quoters and proposers right. and relationship builders, but there's not enough people out there who are really doing 
the solid selling work that's helping to differentiate, lock customers down and, and take advantage of, of what could be. So if you want to score more home runs, go to Dave Curlin and Associates, go to his website. He's the number one coach in the country. Thanks, Gerhard.